Hey guys, this is the Editor Editor. I'm coming at you guys with another Elden Ring video. Uh, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can kind of switch up where that bird farm is and do something else and earn a whole bunch more uh, runes as you do it. Now, I don't have footage of like the crazy way that you can do this, uh, but that's a very late game way. And you have to kill the last boss in order to even get the spell that you need. I might try to get a screenshot or something to show you what I'm talking about. Th there's this like thing you get from the last boss where you can like swing your sword out and it does this crazy like sweep effect and instantly kills a, a lot of stuff and that right there you'll get like 40 50k every time you do it way more than the bird but i'm going to be showing you an early game strategy on how you can do this uh, if you guys don't know distortion 2 uploaded a video on how you can do it it's the late game strategy but i'm going to show you an early game strategy you might be able to do this with but it's not going to be as good keep that in mind it's not going to be as good you're just going to be using an ash of war it's a stomp i can't remember what the name of the stomp is but it's like a frost uh, a frost stomp and what it's going to do is it's going to create this like frost on the ground and it's going to stagger the enemy and it gives them this frostbite effect you might have to do it a few times depending on like what level your magic and stuff is I don't exactly know what determines the Ash of War damage, but my build has barely anything into magic. I've put like a few levels into mind just so I can do my Ash of War more often, but that's that's it. And so I had to do it like three times in order to kill one of the enemies. Uh, and in this video, what I'm going to be showing you to do is how to get that Ash of War, how to get to this location. This is also the same exact location as the bird. It's the same exact grace. So if you already have that, then you're good to go. But if you don't know where to go or how to start this, I'm going to hit you with it. To get the Ash of War, that's what I'm going to show you first. You want to go to the castle where Royal Knight Loretta is. If you don't know who that is or how to get to her, she's near Renala, which is like the third main story boss. So you do Margit, Godric, Renala, and then Royal Knight Loretta is like kind of northeast of, of Renala's castle. It's the same place where all the hands are, the ginormous hands. I don't think it's a required area. You don't have to kill her. You don't even have to step foot in her castle. You just want to go to this grace, like right outside of her castle. And to the right of that grace, there is like this piece of water. It's like a body of water. And there's going to be an invisible, you know, those things that's like has like a spider or a beetle, like pushing a, it looks like a tumbleweed around. Well, there's going to be an invisible one of those in that body of water. What I would recommend you to do is spawn at the uh, Grace right in front of Loretta's castle and then go to the right on your horse and you'll see this body of water. Now, to kill this thing, it's invisible and all you can see is like the puddles it's leaving in the water. Kind of difficult to kill. After you follow it for a little while, you'll, you'll learn its path and then you can kind of cut it off and then hit it and you'll kill it. And then it drops that Ash of War, the stomp that I was talking about. And after you have that, then you can make your way to the underground area. Then you can stomp on all the enemies down there, and you can get a whole bunch of runes for it. What I did was I combined both the bird and the stomp. So I would shoot the bird, and then make sure it fell off the ledge, and then I would start stomping all the enemies around here. I only did a few of them because I don't have uh, that much magic, as you can see in, the, in my UI. Um, now, to get to this area... I'm going to just get a clip from one of my older videos where I described how to get here. So if you already know how to get here, then skip to this timestamp in the video. But if you don't know how to get here, then stay tuned and th here's a tutorial coming up on how to get to this location. So it's story-wise, you need to at least have beaten Godric because if you haven't beaten Godric yet, you can't get the specific thing to happen that you need. There's a woman in the round table hold that is near these two gigantic nasty looking fingers. Her name's Enia and you need to have access to her and I don't think her door is opened unless you have killed Godric. And also, Homeboy, What the White Mask, we'll talk about that. We'll get into it, and I'm going to slow down for you. So if you have beaten Godric, then you're good to go. Uh, your next step would be to go to the Round Table Hold and talk to Enya near the Two Fingers a couple times. you got to talk to her a couple times, and you'll give her the, the rune arc that you got from Godric. Or it was something. It was something that you got from Godric after killing him that you're going to give her. You might want to press Y or Triangle a couple times while you're talking to her to make sure that it really works and she'll say the right dialogue and stuff. Then you want to go to the Blood Rose Church and talk to the White Mask NBC, or in, NPC. He'll be to the right of the doorway. Now, if you go here and he's not here, you need to make sure you did the previous things that I said. And when you go talk to him, uh, he's roughly around right here on the map, by the way. It's north of where you kill Godric. You go through this like swampy area or whatever. 
and he'll be over there. And once you talk to him, he'll give you five bloody fingers. Now, these are used to invade other people's worlds, and you need to use them three times, okay? The, it doesn't matter the outcome as long as you end up in someone else's world. If you die, you kill the person, or you disconnect, or you kill yourself, whatever the case is, you just need to do this three times. Every time I did it, I was just double teamed, so or triple teams. There was one of them I got triple teamed. I don't have footage of that, but I wish I did. It was just me versus three people. I don't know what the fun is about that, that people just wait on one invader and there's three of them. I have no idea what they're getting from that, but that's not something I would do. But once you have done that, then after you've done that three times, you're going to go talk to the guy that gave you the bloody fingers, which is going to be the White Mask NPC. I have no idea what his name is, so I'm just calling him White Mask NPC. Uh, but once you go talk to him again, he'll give you the Lord of Blood's Favor, which is just basically a piece of white paper. Uh, and then you're going to go to the Four Belfries, which is on the west side of the map. It's around where the Blood Rose Church is. So, like, you're going to go to the Blood Rose Church, travel west, and then south a little bit, and there should be a way for you to get on top of this mountain. If you see that gigantic castle on top of a, uh, on top of a mountain, you're in the right direction. Go south of that. And you're going to go up a mountain, and then on the very tippy top of it, there's going to be a Lost Grace. And you're going to touch that, and then there's going to be a chest up there. You're going to open that chest, and there's going to be a key in that chest. And you're going to go back down the mountain, not very much though. The first tower you see on your way down the mountain, which is like right near the very top of it, uh, there's a teleporter there, and you can unlock it using the key that you just got from the chest earlier. Now, after you have activated that, you're going to go through the portal, and what it's going to do is it's going to place you at the place that you started the game at. And your goal here, if you haven't already, is you're going to kill the boss that kills you at the beginning of the game. Now, once you kill him, then you have access to the other part of the area. He's not too bad. You should be able to kill him pretty easily. Now, when he goes into a second phase, he deals a whole ton of damage, just depending on how what level you are. So just be very careful about that and just kill the guy. I first tried him, but he almost murdered me. I used all my flasks and I was one hit by the end of it. Uh, but once you get that done, then you're going to go to the actual room where you first spawn in, where you grab a finger to open the door to get to the first boss, uh, the quote-unquote first boss that you encounter. Uh, but once you get in there, you're going to go to a dead body that you grab the finger from at the very start of the game, and it's going to turn that white paper from white to red. And then you're just going to fast travel back near the Blood Rose Church, and you're going to go back to the white, the white mask NPC, and he'll give you, finally, the thing that you need to teleport to the place that you need to go for this farm. He's going to cut your finger, and you're going to press Y on him a couple more times, and you'll receive this thing called a Pure Blood Knight's Medal. And you're going to go in your inventory and click Use on that. And that's what's going to TP you to the area that you need to go for this chicken thing to fall off the map. Now, you're going to just follow where I go in this footage. Uh, there, be very careful. There's a lot of things that deal a whole ton of damage here. And then there's these gigantic skeletons that come out of the ground at the very start of the run here. Uh, but you're just going to be heading to a Lost Grace. It doesn't take you very long to get there. It might take you a few tries. Uh, but once you get up there, you're going to uh, hit that Lost Grace. And then, and then, if you overlook this place, that is where that nasty-looking, decrepit bird is that you're going to be shooting. All right, so now that you know how to get here, uh, all you need to do simply is just what I'm doing in the footage. Just shoot the bird, stomp on the ground, stomp on the ground, kill all the enemies. Uh, you might find a better, you know, you might find better places to stand and stomp at than I did. If you get too close to them, though... Uh, they'll they won't even care and they'll just start swinging on you and depending on what level you are they do a, he a hefty amount of damage I'm pretty high level and they were killing me pretty easily especially the ones that are red they turn into these things that look like uh, something out of conquer live and reloaded where they have these spikes all over them and they spin around and they can insta kill you pretty fast they do a whole lot of damage when they do that but uh it shouldn't be a worry the grace is right up there and if you die you can just pick up your your uh your runes and then be just fine but yeah that's all i recommend you to do as soon as you spawn in pop an arrow at that bird make sure it falls off the ledge start stomping at these enemies right here and also a little tip too if you see any of them with golden eyes please kill them uh, i have the gold scarab which gives you slightly more runes when you kill things and whenever i would kill these guys with the golden eyes i would get like twelve thousand runes ish 
So please kill those if you see those. They don't have any more health or anything than the regular ones. They just have golden eyes and they give you five times more runes than they normally would. I did this for maybe 20-ish minutes and got about a million runes. So that's not bad. That's a, that's a few million every hour. If you got that one upgrade that Distortion had in his video where you get from the last boss, if you don't want me to spoil the last boss's name, skip 10 seconds ahead of the video right now. I'll give you a second to do it. Okay, but you get that thing that sweeps out. It's called the Elden Beast Remembrance. All right, now it's safe. You don't have to worry about me spoiling the, the name of the thing. But once you got that item that I just said, then you can put that on a weapon and sweep it out. And you do a like you insta kill all these things down here, and you get like 40, 50k runes every time, depending on if they have gold eyes or not. Uh, and you can get a million in like maybe five, ten minutes. I'd say like maybe 8-10 minutes you get like a million so you'd be getting millions of runes an hour it'd, it'd be stupid you'd ruin the game for yourself but yeah this right here is is pretty redonkulous as well it's probably the best rune farm you can do at an early stage of the game this is like I said right after Renala you can do this I believe I don't even think you have to do Renala I think you can do this right after Godric as soon as you unlock that second part of the map you can go ahead and do this but yeah, that's it for the video. If you guys did like this video, then drop it a like. If you dislike this video, then drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit the sub button. You will see more. Other than all that stuff, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.